everyone, I am Zissé João Paulo and this week I bring to you a new video when I comment some impressions about videos about topics that I learned during my history inside the Bouguet. This week I would like to talk to you about a very impressive movement, a very impressive kata that I learned in 2011, some impressions about a very interesting kata inside Aikido Jutsu called Uragote. Uragote it's composed by the kanji ura that means the back and gote that means the small part of the hand. So uragote can be translated as the movement that use the back part of the kote, this part of the kote. So one of the things that impressed to me during the learning of this kata it was the use of the kote and how the kote locked the hands and the other parts of the arms including the shoulders, the elbow and the ribs. It, it was very interesting how the constructions of these movements can lock the scapular part of our body and in other movements how the body is locked in the neck or in the spine regions. It was a good moment to me to learn in this movement and see how the correct construction of the Aikido Jutsu, how the correct development of the Aikido Jutsu can lock a person that try to attack. So in the sequence of these movements, this is very remarkable to me because uh, when a person try to attack us, like in the movement that we can see in the video, when a person try to attack us, locking our hands or locking our arms by grabbing, not allowing us to draw a sword, to draw a tanto, or perform some movement in Aikido Jutsu or other Taijutsu technique. And it was very interesting how a person responds to attack of the uke, grabbing and locking his hand in a, in a uragote position, locking the hands and the other parts of the arm by the positions of uragote in the, this movement, in the first movement for example, and in other parts, in other constructions, in other uh, thinkings, in other ways of attack in this particular seitegata, in this particular movement of Aikido Jutsu. So for this reason that Uragote is very impressive to me, because uh, in the constructions of not allowing the key flow in the arms, in necks or even in the spine region and how the key not allow the movement of the ribs when the uke tries to attack or tries to get out. It's very interesting how the uke reacts to trying to leave the uragote position or even the uh, elbow position, the shoulder positions or even to try to move the ribs or try to move the, the neck or the scapular part of the body, the uh, upper part of the body or the lower part of the body to try to leave out this position when the Tori reacts to the attack of the Uke. It was very impressive how the body do not have energy, do not, do not have key, do not, do not have conditions to react when a person puts the Uke in a proper position according to the uh, Uragote uh, techniques, the Uragote methods, the Uragote way of thinking and is very interesting to, to think in this, this way. I think in a anthropological vision, in a historical vision, when a person tries to grab you for other person attacks, the Tori in this case has to have the conditions to respond quickly to put in the okay the person that attack in a proper position that not allowing this person to move and see if have other persons trying to attack the Tori. So in this way the Tori that have the condition to react uh, to other types of attacks. Also, the UK in this way has always has completely locked in the position that the Tori put in each movement, in each uh, specific movement of the Uragote. So for this reason, the Uragote techniques is very interesting to me. It was very uh, perfect to me. If we think in, in uh, anthropological way or even in biological, physiological way. Try to think in, in the biomechanical movements in this case.
it was it was very interesting how the body could not move in this movement just uh, by the condition of the tori but the okay in certain positions that not allow the okay to move that not allow the okay react uh, in other way to attack the tori once the okay grabs the tori uh, not allowing the tori uh, to take a, a katana to take a sword to take a tanto or even perform other movements and how the tori can react to this grabbing position of the okay that try to make something uh, against the tori in this case uh, if in to grab to uh, pierce him with a tanto or even grabbing to uh, make the conditions of other attackant or other person to attack the tori in this case or even to perform another type of movement that can cause an injury in the tori uh, in many in many cases the death or the uh, prison or the imprisonment of the tori it was very interesting how the tori reacts in the way of thinking of the ragute techniques putting the okay completely locked uh, with the ragote position maybe not allowing the person to move his hands and uh, when the moves uh, forward when the moves go go on when the moves when when the moves uh, was building in the uragote position it was very interesting to see uh, even the uragote position that not allow the moves of the elbow and other parts the moves of the shoulders and other parts the move of the neck the spine putting the spine com completely compressed not allowing the person to, to move not allowing the person to lift out uh, to get out of the position uh, of the position that the tori put in the uragote in many cases the person can try to use the ribs or even the legs to create an empty space when it, when he acts when the uke acts to try to regain the position try to return the original position and uh, to make another attack to the tori so when uh, technically when the moves inside the uragote are performed uh, perfectly are performed in a right way the person not the person cannot use the ribs the legs or the arms the uh, scapular part of the body the necks uh, the spinal or some some part of the body try to create an empty space or leave out the movement of or uh, something like else so for this reason for me the Uragote, it was very interesting, it was a very uh, Aikido Jujutsu technique interesting that I liked to learn during my apprenticeship in the Bugei history. So I wish that you liked this video and if you have some opinion or some issues that we can comment in some video, please send to us by the media contacts of our school, the YouTube channel, the Facebook page or even other types of medias that we publish in our videos. So by this way I say goodbye to you and see you in next week. Bye bye.